welcome back to my youtube channel i'm caitlin if you're new and today i'm gonna give you an island tour and right now on otterville which is the name of my island i have a four star rating so this is my flag and i made it myself it's just a little otter and i took inspiration when it came to my island name from froggy crossing just because i'm a big fan of her and I kind of just like how she kind of incorporates one of her favorite animals into her island. Okay, so here's my entrance area. As you can see, I have some flowers. I have a sunflower. And then we do have some mushroom platforms. I have this little thing that you can kind of see out of just to make it look like you're looking out at the island. And then I have this little train set that I actually really like. And then I kind of have this little gas station thing. I just thought that was something really cool to just incorporate. My entrance area is not done yet. It's just a work in progress. This is just everything I have on my island that's done right now or things that I still have to work on since my island's still not 100% complete. I kind of just wanted to do a little progress video for you guys. All right, and right now we're just gonna check and make sure that I'm still at four stars. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down, depending on really what Isabel wants. So I've kind of been going back and forth between three and four stars lately. Okay, good, we're still at four stars. So that means we just have to finish decorating the rest of the island, which I should be doing more videos on that later on. Right now, I'm kind of just focusing on doing the homes of the villagers and everything like that since I do have my final list of villagers, which I'll show you in a few. Okay, so first we have myself. My name's Caitlin for anyone who's new and everything, and I don't know if I ever properly introduced myself. Then we have Scoot, then we have Fang, Pom Pom, Lolly, Marshall, then we have Petrie, Lucky, Rosie, Teddy, and Coco. Okay, so as you can see, I have all of my driveways right here. I do have some to add to it since I have new ones, so I'm just gonna add those real quick. I thought it'd be pretty cool to have like a little gyroid farm, so I think it's really cool to have it on the beach because I never know really how to decorate the beach. So this is Lucky's house. I didn't do his yard yet. My entire right of the island is not decorated except my museum so far. All right, so this is Rosie's house. I think for her yard, I'm gonna do like a dance studio slash like fashion type of thing. Okay, and then this is Petrie's house. I did make a video on me doing her yard. So if you haven't checked it out yet, it's in a playlist called Otterville Walkthroughs, but I also probably will have it as the video at the end when it has my subscribe to me and then here's another video. And here's my museum. I just added a bunch of fish and bugs and stuff like that just to make it kind of look like a research type of thing outside. Then this is a build I did off camera. It's my Mario area. I've been waiting to do this for a really long time, but I thought it would be really cool to have it towards the museum just cause I don't really have a lot of ideas for that. 
Mario has always been a big part of my life, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that into my island. And here's my nooks crannies area. I haven't done the yard yet, but I'm not really sure what I want to do if I want to make it into like a typical shopping center or not. And here's my little Able Sisters area. I did add like a huge flower thing, so I thought that would be something maybe they would like. Here's my little pond I did. I decided to make it like a little half heart just because I feel like I never really see people do that. And then now we have Lolly's house and then next to Lolly is my house. And I decided to put Lolly next to me just because she's one of my top three villagers that I like. Alright, so here is the little playground slash area that like everyone kind of just chills and relaxes. It's where my campsite is. You can go stargazing and stuff like that. And it's behind Coco's house because Coco's hobby is education. So I thought maybe doing something like that would be kind of cool. And then we're over by Fang's orchard slash garden area. I decided to do a little garden thing for him just cause for him he's a cranky so I think gardening will maybe calm him down. And then this is Teddy's grocery store. I did make a let's play on that so it is going to be in the playlist so make sure you go check that out to see how I did it. Now we have Scoot's yard, which I also made a video, it's in the same playlist, but I made Scoot a little beach slash pool area. So we're at Pom Pom's area and I really like what I did with this, I did a little One Piece theme because I'm actually really enjoying One Piece and I watch the live action. And Pom Pom kind of reminds me of Nami. I don't know why, she just really does. So I think it was really cool to kind of do that. I have things for other characters like Sanji and his cooking, Zoro and the swords, and Nami's little map making. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what I've done with my house so far. So this is the living room area. I haven't really finished it. I'm kind of just waiting to finish every room until I unlock a lot of other things and have enough storage and stuff. And then this is my character's bathroom. This is where I change the outfit every day and kind of just see what I want to wear in the game. Alright, next we have the kitchen. I kind of like how I made a little cozy kitchen. I didn't do too much or too little it just seems pretty good so here's my character's bedroom i just added a bunch of things that i like like pc my little cat tree and then a bunch of pictures on the wall Alright, that's gonna be the end of this video. I appreciate everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!